The acclaimed actor, director, and former football player Carl Weathers, known for his iconic portrayal of Apollo Creed in the initial four Rocky films and notable roles in Predator, The Mandalorian, and Happy Gilmore, passed away just last week, as confirmed by his family. He was 76. We are deeply saddened to announce the passing of Carl Weathers, his family said in a statement. He died peacefully in his sleep on Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Carl was an exceptional human being who lived an extraordinary life through his contributions to film, television, the arts, and sports. He has left an indelible mark and is recognized worldwide and across generations. He was a beloved brother, father, grandfather, partner, and friend. We'll take a look at the life and success of Carl Weathers, as well as his family life and where the actor called home in Los Angeles. Carl Weathers was an American actor and former professional football player. He is best known for his portrayal of Apollo Creed in the Rocky film series and the character Dylan in Predator. After his recent passing, Carl's former co-stars, notably Mr. Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone, are also mourning him and saying goodbye to the actor. Of my life, my success, everything about it, I, I give him incredible credit and kudos before his Hollywood career, Weathers played in the National Football League for the NFL as a linebacker, and then he switched from the field to the set once he discovered his love of acting. But first, let's rewind a bit. Carl Weathers was born on January 14, 1948 in New Orleans, Louisiana, United States. There's not much information online about Carl's parents or his childhood, except that his father worked as a day laborer. Carl studied at St. Augustine High School after getting an athletic scholarship and participating in soccer, judo, gymnastics, and more. So he was clearly very good at sports. Carl then went on to study at Long Beach Polytechnic High School when his family decided to move to Southern California. Weathers started his football career at San Diego State University in 1966, but moving here would also mark the start of his love for acting. I mean, being so close to Hollywood, who could blame him? Eight years later, Carl earned a bachelor's degree in drama. Weathers is famous for his roles as boxer Apollo Creed in the first four Rocky films, Colonel Al Dillon in Predator and voicing Combat Carl in the Toy Story franchise. Together with his acting and football career, Carl Weathers reportedly had a net worth of $8 million by the time of his death on February 1st. Carl did keep all of his family life and homes under wraps though, so his privacy, it was very important to him throughout his life. Reports show that Carl owned a $1.36 million home in Venice, California, since 2004. Today, his property is likely worth three to four million dollars, but it's not clear whether that was also where he was living last but more in his home in just a moment. Let's backtrack to his football career. Carl was on the Aztecs team when they won the Pasadena Bowl in 1969. A year later, he became a free agent with the Oakland Raiders, performing as a linebacker for two seasons. Weathers then became a part of the Canadian Football League from 1971 to 1973. Played 18 games with the BC Lions and then retired from football in 1974. Prior to this, Carl injured his ankle in 1970 1966, and at that time, he shifted more seriously to acting. The footballer landed small roles in Arthur Marks movies Bucktown and Friday Foster, as well as TV shows like Good Times, Kung Fu, Cannon, and Starsky and Hutch. But as we all know, Carl's acting journey seriously took to new heights in 1974, after he played Apollo Creed in Rocky, which was such a massive hit that it grossed $225 million at the box office. He earned acclaim for his portrayal trail of Creed and reprised his role for the next three Rocky movies. Sylvester Stallone was an emerging actor and screenwriter when United Artists brought forth Rocky, the iconic underdog boxer drama that would become a cultural phenomenon. Weathers was selected for the role of Creed, the beloved star-spangled and rightfully confident heavyweight champion eyeing monetary gains and publicity by offering a local contender a shot at the title. However, Creed's focus lies more in promoting the fight than preparing for it. When the two finally clash in a patriotic spectacle, with Creed entering the ring dressed as Uncle Sam, it becomes a legendary battle. After the final bell, Creed famously declares, ain't gonna be no rematch, to which Rocky responds, don't want one. The film, receiving 10 Oscar nominations, including Best Picture, won three Academy Awards, setting the stage for the second installation. Rocky II also achieved massive success and featured a championship rematch with a different outcome. This 
success paved the way for Rocky, introducing the world to the champion bouncer turned actor Mr. T and his iconic catchphrase, I pity the fool. When asked about his prediction for the fight with Balboa, Lang replies into the camera, pain. Weathers reprised the role of Creed in the Cold War themed Rocky IV. His character, now aging, agrees to an exhibition match with the Soviet powerhouse Drago, spelling doom for the former champion. Notably, the role of Apollo Creed almost went to Ken Norton, the real life heavyweight champ who had a storied rivalry with Muhammad Ali. Weathers' other credits include his 1988 role in Action Jackson, as well as just before this, starring opposite Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1987's Predator. In Predator, Weathers played Al Dillon, a CIA operative and old Vietnam War buddy of Schwarzenegger's character. He also appeared as police chief Hampton Forbes in more than two dozen episodes of the 1989-95 TV show In the Heat of the Night, and appeared in films like Happy Gilmore and Little Nicky. In fact, Carl's role as Derek Chubbs Peterson alongside Adam Sandler in Happy Gilmore was quite memorable as he played the main character's golf coach. During the filming of Happy Gilmore, Carl was badly injured during a fall stunt, leading to years of terrible pain. In 2020, the actor shared this with GQ in an interview, stating, I didn't know it until years later, but I fractured two vertebra and osteophytes grew out and connected, and it did kind of a self-fuse in a really bad place. There were three or four years there where I was just in excruciating pain. Weathers also showed off his comedy chops in the show Arrested Development, playing a version of himself as an ad hoc acting coach who proudly offered for tips on saving money at everything from food buffet to airport ride. More recently, Carl played Grief Karga, the head of the Bounty Hunters Guild, in nine episodes of the Disney Plus Star Wars series The Mandalorian. Carl's character became close to Pedro Pascal's as the series went on and Weathers was also a 2021 Emmy nominee for the role. He further dipped his toes in directing, with two episodes of The Mandalorian and some episodes of Law and & Order and Chicago Med. When it comes to Carl's real estate, he kept this part of his life quite private and there isn't much known about where he lived. However, it was reported that he's the owner of a lovely home in Venice, California, an area of Los Angeles that's particularly known for its canals and upscale lifestyle. The home which is tied to Weathers is set to boast two bedrooms and two bathrooms with over 2,400 square feet of space. It's an attractive single family home and it's said that the actor would have purchased it in the early 2000s for over $1 million. These days, the house would be valued closer to three or $4 million. The property was built in 1990 and it's said that the residence is in excellent physical condition and includes more than five rooms throughout with features like fireplaces and outside a swimming pool and patios. When it comes to Carl's family life, he was quite private about this too, but the late actor never lost his faith in love. Before his passing, he was married and divorced three times, one of which didn't last long at all. Unlike the two beautiful times he spent with his first two ex-wives, his brief marriage to Jennifer Peterson was a romance that burn brightly and quickly. In the early 70s, Carl made his debut in show business and married Marianne Castle, his first wife, in 1973. The two remained together for 10 years and welcomed two sons together, but they called it quits in 1983. Carl didn't remain single long following his first divorce from Marianne. In 1984, only a year later, he tied the knot with Rona Unsel, his second wife. The former couple was married for more than 20 years before divorcing in 2006. Though not much is known about her. This marked Weather's longest marriage, however, he and Rona decided not to have any children. After 22 years together, they called it quits in 2006. Finally, in March 2007, Jennifer Peterson got hitched to Carl Weathers just a year after his second divorce. At that point, Carl began to prioritize TV appearances over movie roles. Peterson was a writer, director, and creative content producer with projects under her belt like the 2000 short film. Pumpkin Hill and the American Rescue Dog TV show on Hallmark. Sadly, their marriage didn't last long as they decided to call it quits after just two years. Peterson and Weathers were also not parents to any children together. Carl Weathers passed away at the age of 76. 
and in his family's statement announcing his death, they said, We are deeply saddened to announce the passing of Carl Weathers. He died peacefully in his sleep on Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Carl was an exceptional human being who lived an extraordinary life. Through his contributions to film, TV, the arts, and sports, he has left an indelible mark and is recognized worldwide and across generations. He was a beloved brother, father, grandfather, partner, and friend. So while we don't know much more about his house and life behind closed doors, Carl Weathers was a celebrated and talented actor, former athlete, and much more. His legacy will live on. After learning about Carl Weathers' story, that will conclude today's video. But before we go, answer this question for me. Which type of sports movie is your all-time favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!